Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're looking at y equals mx plus c. y equals mx plus c is the basic form of any straight line graph. I've got some examples here where all these equations on the outside are equations in the form y equals mx plus c, and these equations will make a straight line graph. Now, uh, there's someone we want to draw your attention to. Uh, the two in the middle, uh, y equals 5 and y equals minus 4x, are a bit different. Um, part of their equation is invisible. Uh, so what we do is the y equals 5, we make that into y equals uh, 0x plus 5. The 0x just disappears, but if we wanted it in the form mx plus c, we can make it a 0x. Similarly, the y equals minus 4x has an invisible 0 on the end, uh, and that makes it, if you put that invisible 0 on the end, it does make it in the form y equals mx plus c, without actually changing the equation. Okay, right, now here I've highlighted the m's in red, so here the number in front of the x is always the m, and we've also got the um, uh, plus c's highlighted in green. Okay, all together, um, what we can uh, take from this is that for y equals mx plus c, the gradient of the uh, straight line is given by m, and the y-intercept is given by c. I will show you what this means in a moment, uh, but all I wanted to do for the start of this video was introduce you to some examples of y equals mx plus c. Now let's see this in action. So let's look at the m first, the gradient of the line. And so here we've got a line drawn, and here the gradient is 3. I've got another gradient here with a gradient of 1, a gradient of 0. A gradient of 0 means it's flat. Now we've got a negative gradient, and it's starting to go downwards. And we've got a really big negative, which means it's really steep downwards. And so what we know is that if m is more than 0, it's going upwards. If m is equal to 0, then it's flat. And if m is less than 0, if it's negative, then it's going downwards. Okay? The bigger the number is, the more steep it is. So if it's a really big positive number, it will be really steep. If it's a really big negative number, like minus 10, minus 20, it will be really steep going downwards. Okay. Now, uh, when you're trying to find out the gradient of a line, uh, there are two... Uh, methods we can use. We can use a top equation here, which is a change in y divided by the change in x. And the other equation is m equals, the gradient is equal to the second y coordinate minus the first y coordinate over the second x coordinate minus the first x coordinate. These small letters, uh, small numbers here represent, uh, tell us which way the coordinates go. Uh, I'll show you what this means in a moment with an example. So let's look at this line here, and this line goes to the coordinates 1, 2, and 3, minus 4. Let's work this out, the gradient out, using the top equation first, change in y over change in x. The change in x is how far it goes across, the change in y is how far it goes down, or up or down. So here, this line uh, goes 2 across, and that is 6 down. So it goes to, the change in x is 2. And the change in y is how far it goes up or down is minus 6 because it's going downwards. Okay? So that's all we do. We do the change in y divided by the change in x. Minus 6 divided by, minus, uh, divided by 2. Minus 6 divided by 2 will be minus 3. And so the gradient of this line is minus 3. Now let's do it the other way. So we're going to do it with the coordinates now. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, and this is the first x coordinate, this is the first y coordinate. In orange, we've got the second x coordinate, and in green, we've got the second y coordinate. We substitute those numbers in. Uh, the y2 minus y1 is minus 4 minus 2. x2 minus x1 is 3 minus 2, and we substitute those numbers in like that. Minus 4 minus 2 is minus 6. And... Uh, 3 minus 1 is 2. So again, we have minus 6 divided by 2. will give us minus 3 again. So both methods work. Uh, it, all in all, normally, you will probably use uh, the top equation if you're looking at a graph. So if you can see an example on it of it uh, drawn for you. 
And you will use the bottom uh, equation if you've got two pairs of coordinates. So you'd use this bottom equation if you've got you're given two coordinates uh, on the line. Okay. Now we can look at the C. What does the plus C do? And the plus C tells you the y-intercept. Okay, so here, this red line here crosses the y-axis at 5. And so the y-intercept, where it crosses the y-axis, is 5. We've got another uh, line here, and here the uh, y-intercept is minus 3. Uh, so again, it's where it crosses the y-axis. So for this uh, red line here, we've already worked out the gradient, it was minus 3, and we know it crosses the y-axis at 5. So m is minus 3, and the plus c is 5. So we know the equation of line is y equals minus 3x plus 5. Okay? Both m and c can both be positive or negative numbers, they can both be fractions, and they can both be decimals. Okay. So, uh, that is everything I wanted to show you about y equals mx plus c graphs today. Um, if you would like to rewatch the video before you try these, that's absolutely fine, just rewind. But if you feel ready, you can try to answer these three uh, questions here. What is the gradient and y set of these equations? So I want you to tell me the m and the c of these equations here. Uh, question two, what is the gradient of a line going through 3, 1 and 5, 4? So you'll use the y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 equation for that one. And then it says, look at the graph opposite, work out the equations of these straight lines. So work out the gradient of these two uh, lines. And then work out the y-intercept just by looking at where they cross the y-axis. Okay, pause the video and I'll review the answers in 3, 2, 1. Okay, did you get it right? Please let me know in the comments. I'd love to know how well you did. Thank you for watch, watching this week's video from Advanced Maths. I um, love to see all your views every week. And remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Uh, but just remember we have GCC videos at A-level and IB. Uh, and we have new videos coming every week. Uh, thank you for watching and have a great day. Good luck in your exams.